Hello and welcome. This is an amazingly gorgeous stunner in excellent original condition. It's a Rolex Dages reference 16014 from 1978. This one is just really, really beautiful with a very, very sharp white sunburst dial. Uh, the dial is original and very nice condition. Also, uh, the Loom H2, a beautiful orangeish color well women would be better at describing this type of color but just very very nice um, nice shade to it um, the hands as well uh, the loom is still original but uh, there's a little bit missing in the hour hand the minutes hand is still good um, but yeah, it just looks really beautiful. The steel oyster case with 18 karat white gold fluted bezel. Uh, 18 karat solid white gold fluted bezel is in great condition. It has been polished quite a bit in the past. So you see um, the lines aren't as sharp as they should be. But yeah, still looks nice overall. Um, it's possible to get this refinished, well, to get lasered and refinished to look, um, well, almost as new or even good as new. And yeah, just make it crisp again. And well, it is possible, but I love it the way it is. And it looks amazing th this way already. Both crown and crystal are original. Um, crown obviously screws down nicely. Crystal is uh, hesalite, it's uh, scratch free. Um, the bracelet is an original Rolex Jubilee bracelet, but it's not original to this watch. It has a S2 clasp coat um, on the other side. Yeah, I just cut my nails so. It's a bit more difficult to open it. Um, over here you can see the S2 stamp. The S dates it to 1994, the 2 to February. So this one is from February 1994, the bracelet. The watch itself is a reference 16014, powered by the chronometer automatic caliber 3035 from 1978. The this reference Dages was introduced in 1977, so this is one of the earlier ones. Before this, you had the four-digit Dages without quick set date. This one does have quick set date. Um, so how does it work? Uh, it's very simple. You just unscrew the crown until you feel it pop. Then you can wind it manually, uh, which you don't have to do. Um, well, it's an automatic, so it will wind by the movement of your wrist. But if it hasn't been moving or if you don't really move a lot, uh, you should wind it manually as well. You can do it like this or just hold and do it this. Um, if you pull it into the first position, you've got quick set date. There we go. And if you go into the second position, so you see nice beautiful open sixes and open nines here you go beautiful beautiful in the second position boom we've got time setting with hacking function so you see the second sand stops ticking uh, let's go for a date change which uh, is smooth at midnight there we go um, yeah, it's very easy. Once you're done, just set a desired time again, or the correct time. Um, and then push in the crown and gently push and screw it on. Put it on snugly, but not crazy tight, because uh, it's not necessary and you will just ruin the seal. Um, this one, the bracelet uh, is in very nice condition but does have light stretch, uh, well, mild stretch, I think we would call it, a bit more than light, um, but still very nice. You don't really notice it on the wrist, which I will demonstrate to you now. Um, given, like, when you put it on, it's nice, but once it's on the wrist, 
you really don't uh, notice the uh, stretch much at all feels very natural and just a really really beautiful watch um, this one of course being a Dejas it measures 36 millimeter diameter without crown and 44 something um, 44 and a half millimeter from luck to luck check the description below for all full details service history is unknown but it works great uh, gives good time and yeah just super super beautiful this one anyway i hope you like it um, uh, i'll be uploading a few more rolexes in the past week or weeks so lots more to come as well